G'day guys, how you doing? And we've got another clear night uh, here, so I'm pretty excited to bring the twin wrasses back out and give it another crack, uh, Astro Imaging. Now, we're gonna have a couple of challenges. Challenge number one is that uh, Skywatcher EQ8R Pro mount with the hand controller. Um, a lot of these guys have been leaving messages on the last video, uh, sorry, comments on the last video I made regarding the hand controller and the best way to uh, maybe navigate uh, around it. Uh, we all know that the actual mount itself is a brilliant mount. It's just that hand controller and software. Uh, I, I just, personally, I just don't like it. And uh, I know uh, a lot of these guys sound like you don't like it either. But, uh, so that's uh, change number one. Just getting around that. And I think I know sort of how to navigate it a little bit. Uh, all the suggestions were absolutely fantastic in regards to, um, you know, sequence, uh, sequence Generator Pro um, and the polar alignment side of things. But for me, I don't carry a laptop um, with me. The whole idea of this setup is to be portable uh, and to work with like how I um, like to go out there and, and shoot. So that's why the ZWO ASI Air system really um, was really attractive to me and it worked really well with the Celestron uh, gear or Celestron mount. Um, so this is only temporary. Um, I'm you know, fingers crossed the CGXL will arrive soon and then we'll be uh, up and running without any uh, hitches there. But Skywatcher, I'm just, I'm still getting used to it. And, um, and like I said, it's uh, it's not something that will be probably around for uh, too much more longer anyway. Um, change number two, uh, seeing that I waffled on a little bit there. The wind. Um, one thing I noticed with the uh, the twin wrasses is that they're like a, Bit of a sail they do like to cap capture wind sorry catch the wind um quite easily so uh, we've got somewhere between 15, 14 and 22k winds gusts um according to the forecast and it kind of doesn't really make much sense in a way does it that i'm out here imaging in a wind farm <laughs> So you kind of think wind farms are placed in those areas where, um, yeah, there's a bit of wind uh, traveling through flat land. Um, but hey, I, I don't know much about wind farms. Uh, anyway, um, so two challenges tonight. Sure, we'll get through them. Now, I do plan to try and shoot um, Andromeda Galaxy. Now, Andromeda Galaxy from here, uh, South Australia, is a huge huge challenge on its own because it's only about 20 20 degrees above the horizon um so it's it's not it's not ideal uh but it's a challenge i'm um i'm willing to accept and i'm uh, pretty confident i'm going to walk away with something Providing I can get that uh, polar alignment on the, on the Skywatcher done. If I can't get that done, then I'm walking away with nothing. So, uh, yeah, the uh, the sun's getting ready to go down now. Um, it's a beautiful night. A little bit of wind, not too much. I'm going to use the car as a bit of a block. Um, so that should help out a little bit. But, uh, yeah, I think it's time we, uh, we hop to it and start setting up the mount.
Well, uh, as you can see, the video didn't quite go to plan. Um, there's a little thing called batteries and they went flat in my mic. So when I was uh, recording the last bit of the night, um, batteries went, went flat. So as I was uh, watching the, the video through that I just made, um, I realized that I'd be talking through the first minute and then it just silence. My lips were moving, but nothing else was happening. So um, to give you a bit of an idea on, um, on what happened, um, a batteries went flat. There was a, uh, a storm starting to come through as well, which um, I, I just couldn't believe it. I had to pack up so quickly because uh, it was you know, lightning and everything. But it turns out that um, it turned and uh, and didn't come near me. So probably could have just stayed out a little bit longer. But uh, what else did I have? I had an issue of um, the EQ8R just doing this sort of flip, like a Meridian type flip on me. Um, I had no idea what had happened there. So, and then once it had done that, it didn't, um, uh, well, didn't quite, I can't say it didn't track as good. The tracking seemed off. Um, so I don't know what happened there. That was, that was a bit bizarre. So I didn't get heaps of data on Andromeda Galaxy, but I did get enough and I'm, um, I'm pretty happy with it. The other thing too is this. So I decided to um, install the ZWO um, filter holder on them, but I didn't I didn't think about back focus uh, distance. So Andromeda isn't quite focused properly. Um, I had a hard time trying to get focus as good as I possibly could. Uh, so yeah, there's uh, there's going to be a slight mod to the um, ZWO um, filter uh, chamber area. And the reason I've got that is because I've been trying different filters. So um, this Andromeda Galaxy one was shot with the uh, beta um, contrast filter in it as well. Um, and the other one I wanted to try was the uh, beta UHCS. Um, but it's a very very reflective filter so i don't think that's going to be um, a good filter for this system um i would like to try a uh, ha filter as well a bit later on down, uh, a bit further on down the track um but that's a different story so uh yeah um things kind of ended a bit uh, a bit crazy um didn't get all the data I wanted on Andromeda. It would have been nice to get more because it's so low on the horizon. But uh, I'm pretty happy with the uh, res results. So um, with all that being said, I'll show you the image. And until next time, take it easy. See you.